Jack Hewitt, Kyle Larson, and now Logan Seavey. Three in one night, man. How does this feel? Yeah, it feels uh, incredible. Like, uh, like she said, I guess uh, that's kind of what you got to do here to to win races. And uh, like I said, after the major race, we weren't uh, we were definitely weren't peeling down to the bottom. So um, yeah, that's what this place is all about. Is you know getting up there and, and pounding the wall and, and carrying speed and um, you know just just going for it. You know, um, yeah, I think about halfway through that major race, I realized you know it's time to t kick it in gear and go. And uh, you know my confidence was basically all time high and. Um, you know, just all about being confident in your race cars, and man, did I have a couple of couple of good ones tonight. So, um, yeah, like you said, Jack Hewitt, Kyle Larson, and uh, now myself is unbelievable. It's been an unbelievable year already. You know, between the Chili Bowl and, and now this, and you know, major week and, and whatnot. But uh, man, yeah, obviously already one of the best uh, years of my career. And then to, to not only win, you know, one or two, but to win three here is is pretty nuts. You know, I'd uh, never even won a major race or a sprint car race in Delta Nine, and and then now we've got to, now we got a few of them. So um, yeah, just still a little bit at a loss for words. This place is. Um, one of my favorite in the world, um, easily in the top three, and uh, maybe jumped a few more tonight. How much confidence do you carry from car to car, especially after you win the first one, and then you do that, the same thing in the, the sprint car? I mean, you knew this is probably going to be your best, best chance with the Silver Crown car because you've won here before, but um, just how much confidence do you carry when you put your helmet on and get in these cars all, all night like that? Yeah, it's huge to obviously uh, win the first one. You can't win a, can't win all of them if you don't win the first. So it's huge to win the first one, and and just totally changed um, the way I attack the track for the sprint cars. I think uh, if I you know don't don't win that major race, I probably don't win the sprint car race, and um, you know it totally changed the way I got into turn three. And um, like I keep saying, you know, running multiple cars helps me for all of them. And um, yeah, getting out of the car after the midget, I knew obviously, especially once I get once I knew I was up on the front row that. I had a great shot, and um, the guys made incredible changes there uh, before the feature, and man, that thing was, was really good, and I actually got a little soft there in the middle of the race, and I kind of had to talk myself up and get up in there and, you know, start pounding the wall a little bit harder because I knew, I knew the four was coming. Uh, he's really, really good here. He's one of the best when there's a cushion or, uh, you know, just a little bit of concrete to lean on, and um, I knew if I got soft, he's going he's gonna to take advantage every every chance he gets, and um, that's the cool thing about racing and beating guys like Justin as you know they're uh, they're not getting soft at all they're pounding as hard as they can especially when they got to, a rabbit to chase you know I know he's 130 percent trying to get to me and and uh, to keep him behind us is, is really cool good job man thank you appreciate it Ty